Guys, it's time to put the moose up and get some other trucks here. This is the STX Pro. It is kind of modified from what the Pro is out of the box, but you know what? I'm going to show both of them to you on the table, take them outside, and see who comes out the champ. Let's go. And the first thing you're going to notice is there is quite a bit of wheelbase difference here. The moose, it's a little bit stretched out, that's for sure. Now, as far as tires go, although they are the same tires, these have the Pro codes in them. And right here, sorry for my voice, I'm not exactly sure what inserts are in here, but there is an insert in there, that I can tell you. As far as steering goes, both of these trucks have really tight steering. The Moose, <laughs> the Moose is a little bit tighter and it's super smooth. Capper width portals on the Moose and straight axle Vitavons on the Pro. The widths of the rear, Pretty much identical. However, on the front, the Moose is a little bit wider. They both have carbon frames, Fusion Pro motors, and Reef's brass servos. So we are all set there. And um, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you guys know these trucks, right? Let's get these things outside. Okay, we're starting out with a turn test. Let's see here. All the way. Simple, easy turn. Super smooth. Let's see where we end up. Right there. I'm going to put that rock in place. And there it is. Now watch this. Look at how smooth. I really like that. Now let's try the SCX10 Pro. Get this set into position on that line grab the radio and let's see pulling pretty good pulling really good look at that it matched so uh <laughs> yeah i mean i got sharper angle on the moose i guess the shorter wheelbase but look at that. But hey, it does work, right? <laughs> All right, let's go do this. Let's try Corelli. I know uh, Muse has my pro codes in that. I'm not sure what inserts are in here. This is more of a balance thing, an entire thing really on as far as Crowley goes. Not a good line right there. See, I've been up this thing sometimes Everything walks right up it like it's not even there. So let's see here. Let's see if this is going to have the traction to get it today. See what I mean about like traction? Sometimes it's so easy to walk up this stuff, and other times you can forget it. Oh, wow, another one of them is going to get Crowley. Look at this. This is embarrassing. Both of these trucks can walk Crowley on any given day, but neither one of them did today. Honestly, um, that was kind of embarrassing. Both these trucks have been up Crowley so easy. Nice crawl up that. Nice pull there. Might as well bring it on down the hang. Yeah, nice and easy right there. All right. That was good. I'll take that. Now, portal axle versus solid. All that. And even with the longer wheelbase, the moose is turning sharper. Oh, it kind of got the hook. All right, let's see if we can get up fall time. Can do here. 
Got it. Oh. Now I'm going to tell you, the longer wheelbase should get the front end up on it better. Should get the front end up on it better, and then just the right hop. There you go. All right. Honestly, there's nothing of, eh, not much. Okay, let me explain what I'm about to attempt here. And I don't know that this is even possible, but I've got to get up onto this. Uh, I'd like to go this way, but if this way is the only way, I'm, I'll take that down around through this right here, up over through here. Got to get at least two tires on this and then back onto that rock. I honestly have no idea if this line is even possible. I really don't. But it's something that I've been wanting to try for a while. Oh, we got up on it there. I don't think I'm going up that line right there though. Okay. Ooh, I don't know that the uh, wheelbase is going to be that big of a deal. The long wheelbase might help it. Like right here, it might allow that front end to get up onto stuff. I don't know. We're hanging up on the back axle behind the bushes right there. Ugh. No chance. All right, Moose. Um, it's interesting, when I put this in the right position, I can just go straight to the, the thing without cuts or anything like that. All right, let's see. All right, got to get this to get up on this. All right, we got... Oh my god, that was brutal. Okay, uh, I guess I'll give it one more try. I mean, the pro made it further. The pro went further than the moose did. I mean, it's <laughs> still laying there, but if I can get this to make the pull. Wow, that long wheelbase is not helping me at all here, is it? Not even a little bit. All right, let's see if I can get a different line here. Okay, maybe that's what I needed, a different line. Uh, you know what? The pro got the win here. This is one of those times where I go into a video. This is an easy win for, you know, one or the other. In this case, it was an easy win for the moose. It, it just was. Tighter turning, portals, all this, all that against straight axles. And what happened? We ended up with a tie. And I give it the tie only because the pro actually did an endo coming down fall time. Now, pro's been down fall time many times. It's not flipped over. Um, same here. It's like, but in this particular time, it did flip. Both of them failed Crowley. Uh, they failed Crowley pretty bad, in my opinion. Um, and both of these trucks have walked Crowley without even hardly spinning a tire. It is what it is, but I'm going to give it a tie as where the pro went further up that last set of rocks um, than what the moose did, but the pro fell off of fall time as where moose drove down. 
Huh. Anyway, um, I'm telling you, I went into this thinking this is a clear win for the moose. It wasn't. Maybe I need to break out. Maybe I need to break out old Superlight SV1, huh? Man, that's an old truck. Maybe I will. Guys, check that description. I'll link it up down below. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And you guys have a wonderful day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.